Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. So I apologize for not having any videos out for the past couple days. Um, I, I was just doing stuff. I mean, honestly, I just was out on Thursday where I should have done a video because there was a whole bunch of news that came out on Thursday. Friday, I was going to do a video, but I was running late for work, so I couldn't be late for work. And Saturday, I actually had plans to do it, but I had to drop my motorcycle off at a buddy's house because it needs to get fixed up. So that took up most of my morning. Um, I was going to do some stuff last night, but I ended up just going to bed so I could wake up early and get the news out to you today. Uh, I'm going to do my best to start waking up earlier. I want to get myself on a, a shorter sleep schedule. That way I can start exercising more, um, waking up early. That way during the week, when I'm actually off of work, I can wake up even earlier. Well, be, I was around the same time. Uh, and that way I have more of my day of sunlight to actually be out and do stuff. But um, here we are. We're going to be talking about a whole bunch of news. Everything that got released over the past three days. So for some of you, this might be old news. I apologize if it's old news to you. Uh, for some of you who were just waiting for more information, you just happened to stumble across my video. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. We have a lot to cover. This is probably going to be about a 12 to 14 minute video. So, uh, you know, buckle in here. Um, the first one is the Broly login bonus is currently available on both games. So make sure you go ahead and collect your bonuses daily. Uh, it's kind of cool. That means also the EZA Broly is currently live as well. Um... So I actually completed that. I was going to do it on camera. I ended up not doing it on camera. Uh, I do have a whole bunch of summons for you, though, uh, that I just haven't recorded any of them. Actually, I probably have summons for, like, the past three weeks that I got to upload for both, like, for Dokkan, uh, Global Dokkan Legends. And um, I think that's it, really. I don't think I did Bleach Brave Souls recordings. I think I only did that one time for the third year. Um, but that, that new banner's coming out in a couple days for Bleach Brave Souls, so I might just do the three multis I do on there anyway. Anyway. Uh, so the EZA Broly is here. You need an extreme physical team. Honestly, the easiest way, best way to do it is if you have a double LR Vegito lead uh, or Gogeta lead. Sorry, I do have one because, you know, if you guys don't know, I summoned specifically for him on that one. So uh, I went straight for the physical Gogeta just because I like the card a little bit better, my opinion. Uh, but yeah, I was able to do it with him. If you guys are looking to take this on, you're really going to need him because he tanks like a son of a bitch. Um... You're definitely going to want at least, you're going to need either the Go Tanks lead or the uh, Korra lead, depending on what kind of team you're, team you're running. You definitely need a mono physical team. You need people who can tank. You need people who can dish out damage. It gets very difficult after stage 25. Uh, by stage 29, actually, I died once using the double LR Gogeta lead with all my good units. And I was like, wow, that's it. I kind of got cocky, but you can lose in this event, even if you have the most OP units. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, I will probably do stage 31 just on record, just so you can see. Um,. The Broly movie trailer is live, so I know some of you were like, why are you putting this on your YouTube channel? It makes no sense. Uh, honestly, I never saw the actual Broly trailer. I know it got posted all over Facebook and everything. I just never clicked on it. So when it became available for Dokkan Battle, I watched it and was like, oh crap, that's really cool. So I decided to post it non-monetized on my channel. That way everyone could see it. Plus it came directly from Dokkan Battle, so I kind of felt like it warranted to be on my channel because now it's available on both the JP and Global versions of Dokkan. I just put the subtitled version up. So that's why it was on my channel. It is still there. I'm not taking it down. If anyone wants to watch it, they can go ahead and watch it. It's pretty awesome. I thought it was pretty damn epic. I'm super hyped for it. Uh, I'm actually going out. Me and my coworkers already talked about it. We're all going out and watching this damn movie once it comes to the United States. So uh, that's going to be awesome. Um, in terms of the Broly event for the EZA Broly, orbs given, you get 4,200 small, 2,400 medium, and 210 large orbs. Um, so just, just so you know, that's a lot, a lot of orbs. That's, that's almost like... I, I, I would have to estimate that's probably about like 70% of a full unit to get him awakened. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are lacking orbs, definitely worth it, especially for like physical and technique, because I feel like those two have the most units that you're going to want to put orbs into as of right now. Uh, strength does have a lot as well. I do have a lot for strength, but like right now, uh, I'm saving it all for pretty much all the LRs, because I do have the LR Vegeta, which I don't have maxed out, and then the uh, LR 1000 Day Goku, I already got maxed out, but yeah. Uh, th that's pretty much what I'm saving those for, and then any other ones that come out in the future, because my, my mono teams are pretty damn OP, and the only time, I mean, the, the strength one, the strength extreme one, there's really not a lot of people to give it to, so the super ones are really the ones that are going crazy. But yeah, that, that's how much you get, it's definitely worth the grind. Uh, obviously, only do what you can, if you can't do all of it, it kind of stinks, but I mean, I'm sure the event will be back in the future, uh, especially when the uh, movie stuff actually drops. So I'm sure it'll come back for them. Again, I don't know this for a fact, just speculation, but I could see it coming back. Um, the next one is going to be the peel-off pack on the global side. Um, uh, I'm going to say don't buy it. I don't think you should buy it. Uh, you have the ability to buy it, though. You have packs. You buy for 10 packs. It, it depends on your rank, and more packs become available to you. 
Uh, I mean, the, the only one that maybe you want to worry about, might, might be worth it, is a $10 pack. I think that's the cheapest one you can get. Um, but it's in PLS Trove. You go there, you pick it, you get a guaranteed SSR summon ticket. And that is based on this banner, which has all the leaders from the OG leaders all the way to the newest leaders. I personally won't do it because, like, all my 70% leaders are maxed out 100%. And, like, I have the, the earlier leaders. I don't want to get all of them maxed out. But, like, I would like a dupe of Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. And then, like, the 120 leaders, like, there's a lot of them there. But um, I don't know if uh, if it's worth it, in my opinion. Not worth the $10. Especially with the, the big download uh, a campaign that's coming up in a little bit. We're going to talk about that in a minute also. On the JP side, you do have the double rate SSR banner with... Um, oh, shoot. What's his name? The Evil Namekian over here. Damn, I forgot his name. Uh, but I'll, I'll probably remember it halfway through the video. This is available. Double rates banner has features all the LRs. Um, we also do have a new uh, Bardock event. Not a new, uh, an update to the Bardock event. Finally getting that update to the Bardock event. I've told you guys about this hundreds of times, like how this event just kind of whacked. But uh, finally we're getting it. Um, we're going to talk about that in a minute. These guys are all getting their Doken Awakens from this event. So you have the Tora, Shugesh, and Borgus. All those guys are finally getting Doken Awakenings. Um, I I'm kind of hoping that um, that, uh, Borg that that uh, Tor Tora gets a Fierce Battle. Um... Uh, passive skill because if he gets a fierce battle passive skill he's going to be a an amazing amazing linking buddy for super saiyan 4 vegeta um and if they gave him a, pa a support passive even better that super saiyan 4 vegeta is finally gonna have a good linking buddy the only thing that he lacks is a super saiyan link skill but honestly you could just have good support units that have super saiyan and you will have no problems that getting vegeta to his maximum potential uh, if that's the case vegeta can out damage potentially out damage super saiyan 4 goku uh, after about a year and a half. Well, no, it's been a year global side. Uh, so yeah, but a year and a half on the JP side. Uh, that would be damn freaking awesome. I, I'm super hyped for that. I can't wait to see what happens with these guys. I will be talking about that. Um, this is just more about it. Apparently, there's also... Uh, I don't know if this is saying that the rare Bardock gets a Doken Awakening. I think what's happening is that rare Bardock, on the event, when the event gets an update, is now going to be an SR Bardock. That rare Bardock, like how the Vegeta and Nappa were, uh, will get their own, will get his Doken Awakening, so you can make him that SR Bardock. Now, I'm personally a fan of just keeping the OG units, because they're probably never going to come back. So, uh, which means, like, if you have that rare Bardock grinded out to Super Attack 10, keep him. If you Doken Awaken him, you're never going to get that card back. So, there's probably going to be a new SR Bardock that's grindable, farmable. It's also going to make your base form Bardocks easier, easier to grind. Um, and that one looks like he's going to be Doken Awakening to an SSR Bardock. So again, I'm, I'm hyped for that. I like Bardock. I think Bardock, Bardock, Bardock's probably one of my favorite non-canon characters. Well, I don't want to say non-canon. Um, from, from his original movie, that, that's my favorite Bardock. And that's when this is based off of. So, that's pretty damn awesome. So, that, that's, that's coming out. I can't wait for that. I will definitely be reviewing that. Um, Renzi, this is supposed to be Renzi, by the way. Found some Battlefield 2.0 stuff on Global and JP, uh, so and a JP event. So that pretty much means like, so we have been seeing slowly and slowly more and more Battlefield stuff come out for Global. Uh, I, again, it's all speculation. No one ever, I, I, I don't know if we're ever going to get Battlefield on Global. Uh, I kind of hope that we do get Battlefield on Global. I would really like to do that. Um, I might actually live stream something like that. But unfortunately, I don't have any information about whether it's actually going to come out or not. I know that uh, when they do updates in the game, sometimes they just don't, or just in general when there's software updates, they just won't take out components if it doesn't hurt anything. So, like, if there are components for Battlefield inside of the actual code, it doesn't matter if it's not hurting anything. If it's not hurting anything, they will just leave the freaking damn thing in there. It's easier and cheaper just to leave it there. It's laziness, pretty much. It's all it is, is laziness. So I'm not getting my hopes up for this Battlefield 2.0 stuff, but, um... I know that we're having, we should be having a global and JP event from, I believe it was the V Jump, and there's some other stuff about it. Uh, we also had, know that the Tournament of Power cards are going to be coming soon. Super hyped for that. Now, why am I hyped for that? Is because on the global side, I have, uh, I have two topos. Now, if you don't know, I've said this in other videos. If you pull two topos, um, one is Topo, God of Destruction, and the other is just Topo. Both of them are great support units, so you could run both of them. Like Topo and Jiren especially when they Doken Awaken, are really, really good linking buddies. So you can think of it like this. Topo is the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, how the Super Saiyan 3 Goku is the Super Saiyan 4 Goku um, on the Mono Strength team um, as uh, you know, as he is to the Jiren. The two of them are perfect, and he has a support passive. On top of that, you can have the other Topo on rotation. And that other uh, Topo, I forgot, I think it's Hero of Justice. There is one additional attack link 
So on top of the double passive that you get from the two Topos being on the same uh, rotation as Jiren, put Jiren in the middle. Jiren will hit so much harder because he has almost every single one of his attack buffs on top of the two supporting um, passives of both Topos, and Jiren's just going to be clearing like 3 million damage. Well, it depends obviously on how much... Uh, Dupe system you have in there, but it's going to be insane. I have two dupe pairs of the Jiren unlock, and I have two Topos, so I'm super hyped about that. Uh, I will definitely be doing a lot with that team. I love that team. I can't wait to have that team set up because, oh my gosh, it's going to be awesome. Uh, but yeah, we're getting all that. We're getting a whole bunch of new stuff. Oh, by the way, the LR Beerus and Weiss is available. Um, where are you? Yeah, this, this banner is currently, it's on the Rising Dragon Carnival. He is the Strength Beerus. It looks like he's sitting down, so if you pull him. He is the LR version. Um, you know, spoilers, I did some summons. I didn't get anything good. I got I got a new LR Brol, another LR Brol. It's my third one. So I gave it to the uh, the actual LR variant, so that way he can have the bottom right dupe path unlocked. Nothing crazy. If I get another dupe, like, at any time, it's going to go to the top left, and then I'm going to give it to the TUR Broly that I have if I get another dupe after that. Uh, I was really hoping for um, a, a merge Zama or, or Zamasu and Rose card. Uh, but you know, whatever it's cool. Even the beers, is, the beers is all right But here's the thing when, when it comes to super strength units, there's like I have so many of them There's no reason for me to get any more It's like they just kind of like made nothing but physical and super strength units for the rest of the game and it's insane um, 3.13.1 is in test for global. Um, I don't know if that means anything to you guys It pretty much just means we're getting new updates that came out on the GP side uh, And there's also gonna be some other stuff about the um, 250 million download celebration uh, it looks like we do have some confirmation about that, which pretty much means the entire past year. So if you guys, if you guys are new, what pretty much happens is there's a select period of time um, from like the beginning of like when the first one was like the beginning of the game or whenever they started actually counting um, up until I think it was like the first year anniversary. And what they did was they gave everybody one ticket per 50 stones spent in game, which at the beginning of the game is definitely very viable. I think there was something like 400, 500 stones, farmable stones or something like that that you can get and use. So everyone had a whole bunch of tickets. And then the whales obviously had a lot more. I remember I watched Living Ichigo back in the day when I was watching Living, Living Ichigo. He had like 1,500 tickets just from all the summonings that he did. Now, um, I think I had like 600 the first time, 700, uh, based off of all the free stuff. And then the second time around, I had a lot. So this time, I will probably have a lot because I, I still am, I'm, my stomach still turns for that LR, LR Gohan hunt that I actually did. And it was just, it, it was definitely a stomach turner. And I'm not looking forward to see how many tickets I get. But the fact that I'm going to be getting so many tickets is going to be awesome because I'm going to be able to get so many damn freaking cards. I'll probably do a live stream on that because I don't want to put out like 100 videos of me just summoning on this freaking banner. Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely be doing that. This is the V jump scan, by the way, where you're supposed to be having. Now, I thought it was a full power Frieza at first, but no, it's a final form Frieza and a Goku. Now, I'm personally a fan of Frieza. Uh, the people who lose get the Frieza, and Japan people take it a lot. The Japanese people take it a lot more seriously. If you guys didn't know, the last time we had an event like this, Japanese won over Global, which was insane if you think about it. Because Global it constitutes like the French um, and in pretty much every other country in the world, including America. Um, <laughs> versus just the island of japan <laughs> oh it's not just the island it's the whole freaking game so anyone who plays jp obviously is going to do more but um yeah that's what's going on here and we're going to have a goku versus frieza type of an event so we're going to get one of those cards probably freeze i kind of hope it's freezing myself uh there's something about a, a new piccolo that i saw there the 250 million downloads with all the tickets that's going to be awesome it looks like we might be getting some rank bonuses as well i don't know i don't speak japanese there was really nothing here that was uh fully fully translated that i have found as of yet um but uh, I think this is the only thing here. Uh, we have the Great Crash Campaign, which is the J Japan versus the world. Seven times to complete the event. One clear stage. Number, I don't know what number practices. Doken Awakening. Collect total Zenny. Oh, so this is what it is. So number of playthroughs. No, number of clearing the stage. Uh, number of trainings. This is when you train a character. How many times you Doken Awaken a character. How much Zenny you collect. Five warriors in my hometown Piccolo numbers. Um, this is a new Piccolo, I'm assuming. Uh, so <clears throat> battle as Namek Star Piccolo. Uh, total number of ranks increased, number of support items collected. Um, I guess it's supposed to be frog. I don't know if it's something specific. Maybe it's a Ginyu frog event specific to the Battle of Namek thing. So that'll be cool. Um, the winning gets a Goku. Uh, the, feet, the the ones who lose get a Frieza, which I don't think that's actually a horrible thing. He's an SSR Frieza, Final Form, which is farmable. Uh, actually, the Super Saiyan Goku and Final Form Frieza are both farmable at this point. So that's pretty awesome. Login bonus during the campaign. You get the Battle as a Namek Star Piccolo. So that's going to be awesome. Limit Breakthrough, Ultra Rare. Uh, ultra fast conditions are met something yes okay i i, I this, the google translations kind of suck we're pretty much gonna be getting a piccolo and that's gonna be awesome as well so we're getting three awesome characters from there um looks like the freeze is indeed final form also seems like we're getting transformed piccolo as a login bonus yes okay that's i guess it's the piccolo nail absorb maybe hopefully it's something good or maybe a, a support unit um or maybe a really good defensive unit you know someone who can tank very well that would be awesome 
Um, we already talked about the V-Jump skin. Here we go. Okay, yeah. So we already talked about this. That was pretty much my uh, translation of what I was saying. Yep. Uh, let's see. 250 mil million download campaigns set to start on the uh, last third of August. Oh, okay, cool. So it's at the end of the month. So it should be happening very soon. Japan first, the world campaign will begin. Um, a Piccolo card will be given. Yep, the loser. Yep, we talked about that. Gosh, it tickets distributed via gift box, depending on the number of Dragonstone spent starting July 22nd, 2017 until August 21st, 2018. Every 50 stones spent results in one tickets obtained. That is super hyped. I'm actually hyped about that because I really can't wait. Like, like I said, uh, I'm not going to be, I still have knots in my stomach but I really can't wait to start doing my summons. I really want some dupes of Korra. <laughs> Give me some dupes of Korra, please. Um, final, a Piccolo, Namekian Battle, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we talked about it. So that's going to be great. Uh, yeah, we talked about... Oh, both of them are... The Goku and the Freeze are going to be part of the full power category, apparently. So um, that kind of makes sense because they are from the Namek Saga, the end of the Namek Saga. They're both their strongest forms. Obviously, full power Frieza is more is stronger, but it's like they're, they're part of the full power category. And, uh, oh, by the way, tonight, guys... It looks like there's going to be a major, major uh, update on the JP side of Dokkan Battle. So make sure you all log in, collect your bonuses before it starts. Uh, I think it's supposed to, at this point, it's supposed to start in 11 hours. So uh, 11 hours from now is going to be about, what, 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time? So uh, I'll just make sure you log in by 5 o'clock p.m. Just so that way you make sure you can get your login bonuses. Uh, that way, if the, if the maintenance gets extended past the login time, you don't lose your login con uh, consecutive login bonus. Uh, so keep that in mind. But um, anyway, guys, thank you for joining me today. I know that was a lot of news to cover. I'm kind of happy about all this stuff. Uh, I don't know what I'm more happy for, either the 250 million downloads um, or the new summons that, or the new Dokken Awakens that are going to be coming out for the Tournament of Power cards. I really want that Topo and Jiren to be Dokken Awakened. I have such an awesome team ready to go for them. Uh, but anyway, guys, again, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're new, I'll catch you down in the comments below. Peace out.